I'll give you the clap, baby. Ew! He already has the clap, baby. <laughs> Sorry, Adrian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Lisa, do you want to count in? Yes, please. Wrapping up this episode, we got some six posting. This is where we share all the great stuff from the community. So for the very first post, we have a tweet from Pro Easily. In reaction to all the new details that was released during the Ubisoft Forward, he said, you actually need a CIA clearance level seven or higher to know when the R6 updates drop. They <laughs> dropped it out of nowhere. I feel like a lot of people feel this. Uh, do you feel this? Uh, you can yeah, relate? I, I mean, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> also somewhat worried that they just announced it and didn't give anybody a heads up. Maybe, like I get the whole like, it's available today, <laughs> but maybe don't do that. Maybe yeah. give us a little bit of heads up, especially for the pros who it's their career. But yeah, I feel like they might need to know this kind of stuff or, you know, maybe you. Do it would have been nice to know. I mean, it wouldn't have changed anything for me. I'm going to play it no matter what, <laughs> but like. You don't like surprises, huh? Doesn't seem like. Surprises are okay. Surprises I guess maybe are not, right. maybe not for this. All right. Surprise, mother uh, but speaking of news, actually one of the big pieces of news is that the Rainbow Six World Cup is happening, this which is, is true. super hype. So Global I think we should take a couple of moments here mm -hmm. to think about what our Team Canada would be, considering, you know, we're Canadians. Surprise, we're Canadians. A. This is... I said, eh? Um, yep, so what are. would be your I'll ideal Team Canada? Way to put me on the spot like yeah, that. Yeah, right? Uh, Tough one. Well, I mean, Canadians gotta be on it. Imagine he isn't. <laughs> Wouldn't want him to be snubbed like that. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. don't know, probably like Canadian Fox A Jarvis, and then I'd pull like Silent and Quartz from the Canada division. Okay. Give them a, give them a shot to rise to the occasion. Give them a Round shot. Round out to the rise. team. I think so, yeah. You think Team Canada is going to make it far in this World Cup? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. There's a lot, there's, it's stiff competition. Who knows? It is. I mean, we will we'll hope. Yeah, super we'll hype. Getting all patriotic. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But Fox A, he should change his name to Fox A for this. There's a reason why I'm not a Fox Canadian. Fox E-H. Guy. Yeah, if you guys didn't get that as Canadian accent, that was Fox A. I don't suppose you're from Triple A, are you? Who? Triple A, you know, A-A-A. -A -A. Oh, A-A-A. -A -A. Hey, I just came from A-A. No, not A-A, A-A-A. Yeah, that's what I said, A-A-A. Okay, well the next one and the last <laughs> one we have to look at comes courtesy of Soviet underscore plays. Yes. And for some reason, we don't know why, they decided to calculate the Scrabble point total from every caster's name. And of course, <laughs> I didn't win, so I paid a lot less attention. Oh, this, okay, because it's not about you. All right, let's but, take a look at what the points were. So after, you know, a lot of calculations, what yeah, did it total out to? Uh, so after careful calculations, Soviet plays determined that the highest score would be Snurrelief. That's a good name. <laughs> Snurrelief, great name, worth 47 points. Oof. And the lowest were Braun and Meli Jenny, only worth 12 points each. Just 12 points. That's rough. 47. Oh. And then we have Parker with the very average 29. I was on the higher end. Hey, that's pretty good. That was pretty much average. You that just hit the highest with 47 and the lowest yeah, well, there was a jump. So 29 was there literally was in the middle. I, I will say that there was no Intero bang. It was just Intero. Well, then you shouldn't have I cut the cheated. bang out of your name. I bang whatever I want. I put it right back in. Phrasing. You know what they're going to be saying about that. All right, that's it for this episode of Retake. Be sure to follow us on all of our socials at Watch Retake. We'll catch you guys next episode.